Hi there, my name is Victor and welcome to my math channel. In our last video, we learned how to derive this formula using the completing the square method. I'm going to add a link to that video in the description of this particular one. In this video, we're going to learn how to use this formula to solve questions like this. That is, we're going to use the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations. So we're going to handle this one first, then the second one, which is a little task here. Right, let's get right into it. So x squared plus 4x minus 9 is equal to 0. Uh, the general form of the quadratic equation is written, is given as ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. A, in this case, is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. And B is the coefficient of x, which is what? 4. While C is the constant term, which in this case is minus 9. Then we write our formula. x equals to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we simply put the values of this into this equation. So x equals to minus 4 plus minus b squared is 4 squared. 4, a is 1, and c is minus 9. 2, a is 1 here. Okay, so we go minus 4 plus minus the square root of 4 squared is 16. And if we are to open this bracket, this minus is going to multiply minus and give you plus. Minus times minus is plus. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 9 is 36. So this all this was unnecessary. 2 times 1 is 2. So minus 4 plus minus the square root of 16 plus 36 is 52. All over 2. Now, if you punch square root of 2 into calculator, you're going to get 7.5. Two, one, one, all over two. So this plus minus um, indicates that we have two values of x. That is, x is x could be written as x equals to minus four plus seven point two one one over two, or x is minus four minus seven point two one one over two. As you know, a quadratic equation always has two answers, all right? So, we'll go ahead and solve the first one, which is this one here. So, that's minus 4 plus 7.2 is going to give you 3.211 over 2. If we were to divide this, um, this would give us 1.605. So, we've gotten the first value of x here. Go ahead and do this one. Minus 4 minus 7.211 is going to give you minus 11.211 all over 2. If you divide this with the calculator again, you're going to get this. These are your answers here. So, the yeah, value of x is this. And the value of x is also this. So, x has two values. x is minus 5.61 or 1.61 that is to two decimal place all right okay now we'll go on and solve the second one so our second equation is this Minus 3x squared equal to x plus 2x minus 1. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is obviously to open this bracket. To open the bracket, we're going to go, this is going to multiply this, then it will multiply minus 1. Also, 2 is going to multiply x, then multiply minus 1. So let's go with the first one. x times x is x squared. x times minus 1 is minus x. 
If I don't want x now, then I'll go to 2. 2 times x is plus 2x. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. So these are like terms. Minus x plus 2x is plus x. Alright, so we can add this one now. Alright, if we look closely, you will see that these are both um, like terms. So we could just bring all of these to the other side. So we have minus 3x squared minus x squared minus x plus 2. And what we have left on the right hand side is 0. Minus 3x squared and minus x squared are like terms. So you have minus 4x squared minus x plus 2 equal to 0. Okay, so straight up, you can see that you already have a quadratic equation here. In this case, you remember your a will be, what in this case, minus 4. The coefficient of x squared is minus 4. b, the coefficient of x is minus 1. And the constant in this case is 2. Again, write our formula. Now, I always advise to write your formula as often as possible because it helps you to memorize it quicker. So you have this here all over 2a. Good, fine. All right, let's impute our values. x equals to minus 1. That's minus 1 here plus minus. Be very careful with minus. They can really trip you up if you ignore them. B is minus 1 all squared. A is minus 4. And C is 2. All over 2. A is minus 4. Minus 1 minus 1 gives you plus 1. The square of minus 1 is 1. Now remember, minus times minus is going to give you plus. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. Again, this is unnecessary. All over 2 times minus 4 is minus 8. Okay, so let's continue. We're going to have 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 32 is 33 all over minus 8. Just as we did earlier, plus or minus indicates that we are going to have two values of x here. So x is 1 plus the square root of 33, which is 5.74 over minus 8. And I'm going to say and this time, x equals to 1 minus 5.74 all over minus 8. Okay, so let's start, let's finish up with this one. So give you 6.74 over minus 8. And if you press this with your calculator, you're going to get 0 0.84. Well, this one is going to give you 1 minus 5.74 divided by minus 8. If you press all of that in your calculator, you're going to get 0 0.59. Okay, so our values for x, therefore, therefore, x is equal to, I like to write my negative numbers first, 0 0.84 and 0 0.59. Alright, so you can always go through the video several times if the parts you're not really, um, you didn't really get at the first glance. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video if you found it very helpful. Alright, till, till our next video, keep studying and remember math. It's easy.